we will probably reduce the, the, the gas consumption for warm water, I would say by around 70%. Wow. If you're using uh, shading like this, automated shading, yep. you're actually saving up to 50% the cooling energy. If you only would like to do the energy management part, a mini zero go would be enough. Hello and welcome. Today we are in Bavaria to talk about a special topic, which is energy. The world is in an energy crisis. Uh, around the globe, uh, prices are literally exploding. So we're meeting up with Andy Hetzendorfer. Andy Hetzendorfer is our chief product officer. Hi. He's responsible for all the Luxon technology. He's been working on energy solutions for many years now, and especially intensely in the last couple of months. So he will show us around and give us a little bit of an insight into his project. So Andy, what are the things we, we are looking at today? Oh, well, uh, so we are at, at my house. Uh, our house is, uh, was built four years ago. So four years ago, uh, or in the last four years, times have changed a bit. So uh, four years ago, we, we decided for a gas heating. So basically not the best uh, solution nowadays, uh, but we got a PV system, a solar system on our roof a year ago. And uh, this combining with uh, heating warm water and, and uh, electrical charging, things like that. I think we, we got a, a good package. Um, and well, uh, we should uh, look at three topics today, which is heating, which is shading, and of course, energy management. Sounds good. Where do we have the biggest potential for energy savings? Uh, probably in the heating. Okay, I'd so let's take a look at it now. Okay. We're in the utility room now. I can see a floor heating system. I can see a battery. I can see a PV system. There's also a, a water puffer. Um, there's a heating. There's a heating, of course. <laughs> there's a gas heating, unfortunately. Um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at it. Um, what do you do to reduce the energy of those different appliances? Uh, well, so so since the beginning, of course, there's a lot of uh, lockdown in, in this in this building. Uh, we we have uh, radiant floor heating. Uh, with uh, room control or sound control. So we only heat rooms when they are needed. So like uh, in, in Corona times, when there was a lot of home office, uh, things like that, we, we changed the behavior and we heated the, the office in, in our house every day. Uh, nowadays we, we changed it back. And, and so we, we only have a warm temperature like in the morning in the bathroom and in the kitchen, then we leave for work. So we, we cool down the house. And when we come back uh, in the evening, we, we have warm temperature in, in the kitchen and in the, in the dining area, in the bathroom, and of course in, in, at night in, in the bedroom. So uh, this obviously reduces heating costs a lot because we, we don't uh, heat um, unneeded spaces, what you normally do. And, and this uh, is already a lot of savings. The gas heater is 100% uh, mini server controlled. So uh, the, this gas heater only produces warm energy when the mini server tells him that there is, is a need of, of warm uh, heating water or warm, warm water mm -hmm. somewhere mm -hmm. in, in the building. Um, this year we, we got um, a warm water heater, this guy here. So uh, since we got this, uh, we didn't use any gas so mm -hmm. far so we got this in may and till today uh, we are on, on the first of september today we we didn't uh, use any any gas anymore and i think we we will probably reduce the the, the gas consumption for warm water i would say by around 70 uh, percent wow uh, with, with that do, little guy do you also have an indication on how much energy you're using a day currently um, I do have an indication of uh, per square meter. Uh -huh. So like uh, we did use the last 12 months uh, around 14,500 kilowatt hours. Mm -hmm. Like our neighbors who have basically a house in the same size. Same size. Yeah, yeah. They, mm -hmm. they did use uh, 20,000 kilowatt hours. Okay. So there's a difference of a quarter, mm -hmm. which we already reduced based on, on an intelligent Luxon system where we have the, the floor heating under control and uh, which doesn't already, uh, I mean, not include that mm -hmm. much savings from the warm water because we already have it since May. Just for reference, because I, we also looked at the house, um, same size, yeah, same building year approximately, I think. It, they built uh, a year ahead. And it's uh, e even the same, uh, uh, 
to adults uh, living yeah, there, right. both having uh, going to work uh, full time. Yeah. So very similar living patterns, um, 20 percent less, 25 percent less energy. Yes. So very impressive. Yeah. And, and we, you know, uh, you already looked at the numbers, uh, which are yeah. the benchmark in Germany. Yeah. Like we we have a benchmark per square meter in in Germany for heating and warm water. When you have a gas heater, um, where you have 100 and 40 kilowatt hours a square mm -hmm. meter a year, mm -hmm. uh, we do have 59. Yeah, that's so that's uh, it's 58 percent less. It's an incredible achievement, and nowadays, also due to the rising energy costs, it's also uh, a big impact uh, money-wise. I mean, we've looked, we've been looking at your at your contract. I think you've been paying around 1,500 euro. It was a, a, a thousand last year, yeah, uh, and okay. the, la the latest calculation for uh, if we would have a new contract today would be 4,500. Okay, yeah. A another thing which uh, can save you a lot of money is a ventilation system. Mm -hmm. uh, like, um, of course, we do use it when we're home because we, we love to get fresh air in, in our house yep. uh, without opening a window. But you need to, to bring it down to, to almost zero when you leave the house because mm -hmm. it's constantly uh, bringing warm air out of the building and bringing cold air in. So you need to bring it down. So when we leave the house, um, it, it uh, goes almost to zero, just a, a little ventilation uh, to, to make sure there's no um, dust problem in, in yeah. the house. So th this is also 100% mini server controlled. Mm -hmm. um, and integrated in our uh, ventilation function block. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been talking about heating, um, but there's also days where it's like, I don't know, 32 degrees yeah. Celsius outside. Uh, is there any way also that you can cool down the rooms um, and, and preserve that energy when we are, we are having a hot day? Yeah, of course. Uh, so when it's hot outside, we, we force the ventilation system at night to go to 100% to bring as much cold there in the building as possible. And of course, yeah, it takes more power then, but combined to an, an AC unit, it, it's also very, very effective and, and saves a lot of money on that. Cool. So in your case, we're looking at the radiant floor heating system. Um, if, if we're looking globally, there are a lot of other systems. Mm -hmm. Are there also solutions out there to work with, let's say, an HVAC system? We do have our dampers um, instead of, of our uh, radium floor heater adapters. So uh, in, in like states like the US, you just use the dampers and make your, your sound control using those uh, guys. So basically same principle yeah. uh, than the radium floor heating, but also I think even a benefit uh, because the forced air is reacting even faster. Yeah, of course. And therefore you can react more to things like presence, to mm. things like different um, uh, situations in different rooms. Yeah. Okay, so we have heating, we have ventilation. Let's take a look at your shading. Yes, let's go. We're now in the kitchen, um, taking a look at the shading. So today it's a hot sunny day outside. There's a lot of sunlight. Um, how does the shading work in your case? So like we, we have it in here, uh, so there are three orientations. We have east, south uh, and west. Um, you see it's afternoon, so uh, shading already went up in, in, on the east side. Mm -hmm. So uh, south and west, we are in automatic mode. So mm -hmm. the, the shading is based on, on the sun direction. It closes and sets the, the, the shades, um, the blades uh, in, in the direction okay. of, of the sun. Mm -hmm. So we, we have south of course, uh, where we have shades and, and also the, the west side in here. Cool. So we are now keeping the hot sun out uh, with, with uh, this principle in the summertime. Yeah. In your case, you are getting an active cooling system in Two the weeks. end of the summer, I think. <laughs> so a little bit too late, but yeah. uh, prepare for the future. Um, I've looked at a couple of statistics. So if you're using uh, shading like this, automated shading, yep. you're actually saving up to 50% the cooling energy 
um, which is obviously enormous in, in, in uh, areas where a lot of AC control is being used. This principle also works in winter because you can let in the, the, the sunlight in winter to help uh, heat up the room in addition to the heating. And once the temperature is reached, you can again use the shading to not overheat it. And I've also looked at that and statistics also say that we can save 30% on heating energy. So 50% oh, cooling energy, 30% cool. heating energy. It's definitely the biggest potential next to uh, heating. The second biggest potential is in shading. Yeah, yeah, right. And, and uh, you know, we, we have the, the study with the Austrian University, yeah. uh, which uh, compared our automated shading to just a standard house. Mm -hmm. and, and they found out that during a, a, a average summer, mm -hmm. uh, you can decrease your average room temperature by seven degrees yeah. only with automated shading, yeah. which is insane. So in a lot of cases, you will not even need an AC, AC yeah. unit because yeah, of right. that. Andy, I think you've installed one of my favorite Touch Pure Flexes. Uh, we're here in the garage. You're using it for energy management and a lot of other things. Can you explain it to us? Of course. I charge my car here. And um, basically, I only want to get the, the power from the roof into my car. So yep. I never want to buy energy from the grid uh, to charge my car. So um, I brought up three different types of, of charging. I have a PV only. Mm -hmm. I've got my PV system plus my battery. Mm -hmm. And I've got uh, get the power from whatever it comes from. I need to get power in my car. Yep. And uh, these the three types I, I brought to the left side of the Touch Pure Flex. I have the status LED to show um, which charging mode is, is active. And when I, I press a button, I can see on, on the display how much power actually goes into the car, like uh, mm -hmm. 1.4 kilowatt at the moment. Um, I, I love this because I, I come home and I, I plug in the car and actually on the way into the house, I, I can decide whatever I want to have. Yep. But our, the standard is PV only. I think it really shows the flexibility and the power of the Touch Pure Flex. So very unique setup. Um, we've been we've got a lot of questions on the Touch Pure Flex. If that is our new standard uh, switch for controlling a home or a building, um, I'm I would say no yep. because um, in the regular rooms, in most rooms, especially in a home, we are using the Touch or the Touch Pure. Uh, for music, for uh, lighting, for uh, shades. And if there's a room that has some special applications, like here in the garage where you have the, the car charger, or let's say in the sauna, or uh, I don't know, somewhere in the, at, the, at the entrance area, um, you use the Touch Pure Flex. Yeah. Let's go on and take a look at the uh, PV system. So Andy, last year you installed a solar system and you're doing all the energy management with Luxon. Can you give us some insight on what you're controlling with it and how? Yeah, of course. So uh, a year ago we, we got the, the PV system on our roof. Um, so it has uh, eight, around 18 kilowatt peak of, of power. Uh, we got the battery system with 13.5 uh, kilowatt hours um, of capacity. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are of course controlling warm water, uh, the dishwasher, the washing machine and our electrical car where we have intelligent charging. Is there any logic uh, that you're using when it comes to um, distributing the energy? Uh, of course, uh, I, I have uh, different priorities. Um, and uh, based on the on the power I get from the roof or what I normally would put into the grid, um, I activate the, the different uh, consumers. And of course, there is the next release where there will be a lot of new <laughs> stuff. In. Of course. Um, what brands are you using in there? I think it's a Solar Edge. Yeah, it's a Solar Edge inverter, uh, inverter <clears throat> and a Tesla Powerwall as a battery. Okay. And is there anything? What what do you need in order to you know read the energy and uh, intelligently distribute it in the home? In in, in, in your case, um, what additional components? I mean, in on in in an just if, if you only would like to do the energy management part, yeah, it would be a mini silver go because uh -huh. all, all the different devices are controlled by Modbus TCP, so over Ethernet, so a mini silver go would be enough. Cool. 
So just a minute ago, nothing else. Yeah, right. So like an investment <coughs> of 370 euro, yeah. which would probably be back in a couple of weeks. So basically something you should utilize in every single uh, PV installation. Yeah, of course. In, in our opinion. Yeah. Um, you also have an electric car yeah. that you are charging with the PV system. As I said, it's a sunny day. Uh, how do you use the energy to charge the car? Is there any special logic here? Um, yeah, I, as I said, I, I put the, the power I get from the grid directly into the car. Um, all the, the energy management is, is done in, in Lux and Convic. And the whole package itself, um, we, we were able to reduce um, our cost in energy by 90%. So okay. like uh, the last 12 months, um, we, we saved 90% of, of the power which we import from the grid. Okay. There's, uh, you mean the, the, how do you call it in English, Autoki? Yeah, right. It's an uh, autoki of 90%. Autoki of 90%. And I think uh, the installers calculated it at uh, 70% or something. Uh, 72, like right? Yeah. So we, we got uh, mm -hmm. uh, almost a, a quarter more okay. um, of autoki, which is insane because it's only. So you, you spend like $25,000 in the PV <laughs> system and the battery, and then you spend 370 euro to get that much of a benefit. Very cool. So basically, um, it, it pays for itself. Yeah. Well, in okay. a short time. Perfect. Cool. So thank you, Andy, for the insight into the energy management. Um, I think we are really looking forward to what is coming up in autumn this year. Uh, lots of cool new features in the next Luxon Config for energy management. Maybe even the one or the other product, we will see. To us, the whole topic of energy management is very important. I mean, we've been looking at it today from a cost perspective so we can really heavily reduce the energy and therefore the cost in a, in a home like this but also in commercial buildings in commercial setups probably even more because there's not one person yep. responsible for for you know turning off the lights and so on so you have a lot of people uh, nobody uh, feels responsible so in a commercial setup you can probably even achieve more energy savings than in a residential home but still it's very impressive uh, what uh, had, had been achieved here in, in, uh, in, in your home already the other thing i would also like to point out is not only a saving in energy but also a saving in the co2 footprint of course because the energy we save we look at um, heavily reducing the carbon footprint of your home as well usually when we're talking about climate change we're mostly talking about electrification of cars and we're talking about pv systems but as a matter of fact uh, 40 percent of the co2 um, that goes into the air comes from buildings so i think with building automation we really have a big impact not only on the cost side but also on the carbon footprint side and we can help to keep the planet as it is so thank you andy and thank you. see you next time thank you bye bye